as you can see this is Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3 14 inch laptop and recently we do have some issues with the operating system so here is the model number as you can see the system doesn't work so today I'm going to show you how to get into BIOS and correctly change the BIOS settings to enable reboot as you can see this is the bootable Windows 11 thumb drive but you know most of the brand of laptop to get into BIOS you need to press the functional key from F1 to F2 but for this one it's completely different Lenovo always make things different for example that one if you take a SIM opening tool or SIM ejector tool then if you check in this model on the right hand side there are a couple of holes in there so first things that you need to do you need to switch it off completely connect your bootable Windows 11 thumb drive and then while it's switched off check the hole like that and just click it once you click it's going to turn on but it's going to turn into noble button menu from that one we can get into BIOS by the way if you don't know how to create the bootable Windows 11 thumb drive you can check the video link would be in the description so once you hit enter from there it's going to take you the BIOS page as you can see here on the information section it shows the model number and all other details of the CPU, R drive and everything so we don't need to do anything from here instead we're going to go to security option first let's check if anything on the configuration so the configuration has to be like that as you can see we can leave it as it is then we're going to go to security from here the first thing that we need to do we need to enable the secure boot the reason is we're going to install the windows in uefi environment okay so that is done now we're going to get into boot menu from there as you can see the usb boot it has to be enabled otherwise your bootable usb don't be recognizable and this is the boot priority option here so from here you can choose your usb stick as a first boot priority so first thing that we need to select it highlight it and then we need to press f6 so that would take this one to number one means first boot priority okay and we're going to save it and once you hit enter it's going to restart and that should load up from the bootable either windows 10 or 11 thumb drive <clears throat> now here is the thing if it doesn't work at this point you need to check either if you correctly created the usb stick or not and also check the usb port sometimes usb port might faulty so you need to connect into the different usb port and give it a try okay and always try to make your bootable windows installer from the microsoft official site that's super clean clean operating system service pack and there would be any sort of junk or anything but if you create from the third party like Rofus or something else sometimes there could be custom apps and programs in there which might can bring some troubles in the system by the way as you can see this one loaded up now it's pretty simple you need to choose the time zone language and everything okay so i'm going to keep this united states and the second one i'm going to choose united kingdom for my case so you can choose your one now sometimes the operating system interface could be different but it's the same procedure you need to follow now we're going to hit next we're going to accept the terms and condition once you accept the terms and condition is going to lead us to choose the internal ssd or hard drive where you're going to install the system by the way in this point you have to be very careful because if you delete the partition or if you format the drive you're going to lose everything so please please back up your important files in somewhere else otherwise you're going to lose everything okay so do it at your own risk i'm going to delete every single partition just to create create a single partition in here and as you can see now <clears throat> it's going to load up we're going to fast forward this video just to make it shorter 
and then we're going to see if this is successful or not. Alright, so the device is getting ready. Everything should be fine. We might get some trouble with the drivers because this is fresh system and it doesn't get everything up to date. So once the windows installed correctly, then first things that we need to do, either we need to have um, the wired internet connection or wireless and then we need to update it. By the way, you've seen two operating system. The reason is I have two uh, drives and in one drive I did not delete all the partitions and that's the reason some old system still visible but that's not a problem. Okay, so now I'm going to connect into Wi-Fi and update all the drivers. Okay, and during the driver update that might take a couple of restarts and it's going to blink. Uh, from the screen which is absolutely fine and then everything should be fine if you do have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section and don't forget if your USB stick is not recognizable then I would suggest you connecting to different port and check if you created it correctly or not okay and also check the BIOS settings if the USB boot is enabled or not otherwise it would not be recognizable so thank you so much for watching and bye for now